<clears throat> What's going on YouTube? Justin here, back at it again with another video. Today, we are going to be setting up a fresh, complete setup. I've got some brand new trucks, independent 149s that I've set up with you guys with some bones bushings. Get the dog out of the way. We've got, <laughs> see what's going on to my dog here. What's going on, Nubby? Let's, uh, let's put you to the side here. Come on, over here. Get his ball. Keep him busy. Get your ball. We put that ball away just so uh, he can basically enjoy it better when we are home or whatever. Keep himself busy because if we let him have it for longer periods of time, he gets bored of it and stops playing with it after a couple days. Anyway, I've got the Indy 149s. 52 millimeter, were 52 millimeter, probably 51 now, Bones wheels. They are the Heaven or Hell David Gravette wheels. And then I've got some quantum bearings that I'm gonna try out. Of course, I've got the mob grip, which is nice. And then I've got this 8.75 Powell Peralta deck. It is not a flight deck, but it's a Powell deck. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by gripping it up. If you all wanna stay and watch the whole video, you may. If you wanna skip through, you can. Do whatever you want, do whatever you please. You do not have to watch my videos. But uh, anyway, let's get to gripping it, shall we? I normally, I think most of them, I would time lapse this or fast forward this part because I like to take my time doing these grip jobs. But I'm not gonna time lapse it, I'm not gonna edit it. This is going to be raw, unedited. I don't think I'm gonna put music up to this. Um, enough talking. Let's start uh, gripping this up. I am excited for this, stoked. I've been skating more 875s lately than I have been 85s and 838s. I made the switch a couple years ago from an 825 to an 838 and 85. Um, I don't mind it. I like the 85s and 875s. I've been preferring the 875s more lately. I've got a lot more room to learn board slides on and whatnot. And I don't know, just having the wider board is more fun. But, um,.
always nice to have a very sharp blade. Can't go wrong with a sharp blade. Awesome. Cannot go wrong with a sharp blade, ladies and gentlemen. There are really no holes in this one. There's no way. Oh shit. Didn't notice, the, oh there they are. <laughs> the um, I guess when they were machining the uh, graffiti or art on the deck, they, the uh, machine didn't poke the uh, holes in on the things. What do you call it? On the deck itself, the graphic was, uh, covering these holes freaked me out for a second but um here's the uh grip job very clean very neat just how i like it took my time and enjoyed it however long that was and i guess i don't really time them because i enjoy that part the most that is the most enjoyable part in my opinion of setting up a skate deck that is for sure Oh, I got my dog coming back over. Hopefully it does not knock the camera over. Don't knock my camera, Nubby. All right, good. It's a double tail. Is it a double tail? I don't know. Didn't notice that. I think it's a double tail. Anyway, let's continue to set it up. Feel like it is. It might be. It might not be. I don't know. I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just gonna keep setting this up. Oh yeah, I got Indy's 7 8 hardware with uh, two silver bolts. It's what I usually get lately. Sometimes I'll do shorties, sometimes I'll do Indy's. I usually prefer shorties hardware, um, mainly because their diameter of the head of the bolt is just a little smaller in size than the Indy's. And I guess what that does for me is um, sometimes I'll actually use Iron Horse as well because of that. That's a hardware brand. But the reason for that is the head of the bolt is so big that it sometimes will stick up off the board a little bit with the Indies. And I don't really like that. So I try to make it flush with the board, which pushes down like one of the plies of the seven ply deck which doesn't really do much, to be honest. I don't think it really affects it for me. But if I was doing crazy tricks and stuff, it probably would make more pressure cracks. But I don't do anything crazy, crazy to where it makes it pressure crack like crazy or anything. Unless it's like a CCS deck or something, but that's because those are very cheap 
and cheaply made Chinese wood. I think most wood is nowadays, but I mean, I guess wood is wood, all of it's the same really, and it's just really expensive. <laughs> Stuff is getting expensive nowadays, that's why I got lucky with this Dex price. But um, I don't know where my skate tool is, so I have to do it this way, make use of what I have right now. Guess I lost it somewhere. But might have left it at a park. I don't know what I did with it actually. It's probably laying around my house somewhere. I just have to go find it. Just don't want to search for too long. I was already searching for it for like 15 minutes. It was a waste of time because unfortunately I did not find it. That is the setup that I'm gonna have for however long it lasts. And then I will swap the trucks and whatnot, same trucks and stuff over to the next deck. That is it for today's video. I hope you all are enjoying the content so far. Until the next video, of course, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.